Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Caroline Herschel and her contributions to astronomy. So Caroline Herschel lived from 1750 until 1848. And she was born in Germany, but became very ill at the age of 10, which affected her and meant that she ended up receiving very little formal education. However, she worked with her brother, William Herschel, a very well known astronomer, and moved to England and worked with William for the rest of his life. Now, her scientific work consisted of a number of different things, including discovering a new nebula in 1783. So a nebula, something that's a little bit fuzzy in the sky. We know of the things like the Orion Nebula, uh, which are clouds of gas out in space. Later on, between 1786 and 1797, she discovered a number of comets, eight comets to be precise. And here's the, here's the position of one of those comets. And we can see its motion relative to a group of stars. So we can see the stars labeled A, B, and then C down here. And we can see the positioning of the comet as it has changed relative to those stars over time. Now, she also became the first woman to be paid for work in science. So the first one to be paid. Now, this was a time when very few people were actually paid for science, but she became the first first woman to be paid. In 1802, a catalog was published, which would eventually become the new general catalog. Now, it wasn't published under her name. It was published under Williams, and it would become a very important catalog still used today. And it is a catalog of, of, of objects that are not stars, essentially. So the new general catalog contains things like nebulae it contains things like other galaxies and we have to remember at this time we didn't know that other galaxies even existed we didn't know whether those objects that we now know as galaxies were actually a part of our own galaxy or if they were galaxies on their own so while this catalog was not published until 50 years after her death, she had done some of the initial work that eventually led to this new general catalog containing what we now know to be nebulae, galaxies, and star clusters. Now, later on, she worked with another astronomy astronomer, John Herschel, her nephew, and received the gold medal from the Royal Astronomical Society for her work and contributions to astronomy. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary. And what we've looked at is uh, Caroline Herschel spent many years working with her brother William on astronomical observations. She discovered many comets comets and nebulae and began work on a catalog that would eventually become the new general catalog of non-stellar objects, sometimes known as the NGC catalog. So that concludes this discussion of Caroline Herschel. We'll be back again next week to discuss another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.